I'm going to have a look at this uh, vintage kit here, which is the Monogram 148 scale F20 Tiger Shark. Uh, this is a second hand kit that I bought at a show and uh, I mean it, it's beat up, it's already been opened, but I thought we'd have an inbox look at uh, what you actually get in here. Um, I'm sort of going back to the old monogram kits because they're they're just so like they're so beautiful those old kits the raised pan lines don't really bother me as much anymore as they once did like when recessed pan lines came in everything had to be recessed and now it's like I could kind of go either way as long as it's a decent kit and these monogram kits are always usually pretty excellent so I thought maybe we'd have a look at this one which I think is one of the just super coolest aircraft that has ever been and uh, we get the nice box art here and then on the side gives us a built up one with that really sleek looking aircraft there and uh, kit number should be 5445 and on the side we get a uh, little bit of information here and the black one built up there. So we'll open it up and have a look here. Like it, everything's your basically your typical monogram. And the way they've split this for the uh, the back, I don't know if this is the way their F5. Um, I think it's an F5E that uh, is a single seater. I don't know if it's split off the back like that too or if that's just for this kit here. But you can see uh, you can see the nice details on them. Some people just are put off when they're molded in color like this also. It's like the gunmetal gray sort of thing. You can see the detail here. And then uh, under the wing and unfortunately like they used to put their little hallmark on the on the outside instead of in here hidden somewhere and then how we're going to attach our weapons there in the sidewinder rails I mean, for their day they're pretty acceptable but you can see the detail on here and then our our missiles could use improvement definitely these uh, would be sparrow missiles I guess like they're they're there. I mean, if you had to use them, they're okay. In our pilot, they always have the most detailed little figures in their uh, kits. Like they're just excellent. And then here's our wheels. I mean, nothing uh, nothing major, but uh, they're not bad. And here's our lower section, which this may be common to all the uh, the different ones. I'm not sure. I don't have uh, another one to like the F5F or F5E to compare it to. And you see the excellent detail with our air brakes here, and this is kind of different. I. I guess this must they uh, be a gear door, but the way they've molded it is closed because it must close when the wheel is out also. Otherwise you'd have to open that up and it doesn't look like it's made to be opened. So that's our lower section. And then we have our pretty poor sidewinders there. And our landing gear, excellent landing gear. Same with the uh, the nozzle. I mean, it looks good, and it's detailed inside also. But where Monogram like has always shined is in their cockpits because the amount of detail on that is just absolutely amazing. And we'll look on the bucket here same thing just super detailed in there we'll go to the next uh, sprue here 
There isn't a whole heck of a lot of parts to this one. Get it out. All right. So pretty excellent ejection seat. You can see it has belts on it and everything. All the detail. Here's your, your stick here. And the massive tail unit. You'll probably have to get a pretty big seam out of here when you do fit it, but um, it's not too big a deal. And the uh, belly tank. More pieces here. There's your pylons. So the pylons look like they have little, they're not just like straight pylons. You can see they have little, um, like the little braces, an attempt at little braces on them. So they're pretty nicely detailed. The gear doors. I, I believe those are gear doors. They might be pieces for the intake, I'm not sure. And like the excellent detail on the ejection seat there. And the inside of the speed brakes. Everything is just just highly detailed. It just that it happens to be raised really. Then we can look at our glass. And the glass is pretty acceptable. Like you can see it might be for like modern kits, it might be a little bit thick and a tad unclear, but there's no seam in it, which to it like if this was a kit molded today, you would definitely see a seam in it. The way they've done it here is just, it's perfect if you ask me. I mean, just take a little, because it's old, it, it just needs a little buff to clear it out. So, excellent glass work. I guess we'll show the the decals here. They're They're pretty old. You might still be able to use them because of how thick they are. But, um, yeah, they look all right. I mean, what can you really do? These, uh, although these, you can see the carrier film is actually off of them. I'm not sure if I can get it to show in the light. The carrier film is actually away from the actual decal, which could pose a problem there. So, we'll move to the instructions and the instructions have yellowed over time they give us the information here and we go into our like poster style fold out instructions we get the cockpit and everything being fitted and the, the pilot if you want to use them or not various pylons and things So this whole piece here is for the, whether you want the canopy open or closed. It's kind of interesting. Kind of elaborate for having it open or closed. And our landing gear. And the rest is basically just our paint guide. Um, like if you like a bright aircraft, that's fine. But I mean, I would probably do this one anyways, the dark one, just because it, it just really looks cool. So this kit is the monogram models F20 Tiger Shark and uh, it looks like a pretty cool kit. I just wanted to have a preview here of it see what you actually get in the kit if you're able to find one of these and uh, thank you for watching.